Today, we're going to be connecting our donation page to the Stripe Payment Gateway. That way, we can take live online donations straight from our donation page right on our website. Your end result will look something like this, where you can take credit cards online on your donation page. Pretty exciting, right? All right, let's get into it. Hey, welcome to Nonprofit Ally. On this channel, we like to help nonprofits build their capacity and optimize their online presence. And that is just what we're going to do today because we are going to connect your donation page to a payment gateway so you can take online donations straight from your website. All right, so let's get into it. So this is a site I just made for a local nonprofit up here in Alaska. And we're going to go over to their donate page and I'll kind of show you what we're going to do today. So this page, their donation page, is made with the GiveWP plugin. It's a free plugin for WordPress. And if you don't have this installed already, I'm going to put the video link up here for you so you can go ahead and get that installed because without that installed, you can't connect it to Stripe. So this is what it looks like pretty much just out of the box. We created a quick test donation page. And you can see right here it's telling you it's in test mode. And this is what the form looks like. Not much to it right now because there's nothing connected. Now there's a couple ways to connect Stripe when you go ahead and uh, when you're at this point. So we're going to go into the back end of WordPress now. So at this point, you have GiveWP installed on your website. You've uh, created your first donation form. And you're ready to connect it now to the gateway. Again, that video um, is linked up above if you need help getting the GiveWP installed. Now, in the back end here, you're going to go over to the left-hand side. You're going to look for Donations. This is the GiveWP plugin. And at this point, we're just going to go over to Settings. I'm going to show you uh, one of the quickest and simplest ways to connect Stripe. Okay, once you're in the Settings area, here, I'm going to scroll this up so I can see a little better. You have these tabs up here. And you're going to go to the Payment Gateways. Now, the free version of the GiveWP plugin comes with Stripe and PayPal already ready to be connected. Um, today, we're going to be doing Stripe. PayPal is very much the same. You just connect your account. Now, there's a, a pretty easy way to do this. Once you, connect, uh, once you click on Stripe, you simply can connect with this blue button here to Stripe. This will basically create a handshake between the website and your Stripe account so that you can start taking online donations. The thing is, this is the free version of the Stripe connection that GiveWP gives you. And this free version includes an additional 2% processing fee for every donation. So if you plan to take a lot of donations online and you don't want to pay that 2% fee, it's probably in your best interest to buy the premium add-on that GiveWP offers. And that will save you have spending that 2% fee. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and we're going to go to the downloads area. We're going to go to GiveWP. And this is the GiveWP homepage. And you're going to find the add-on for it under add-ons, payment gateways. And you're going to find Stripe. And there's Stripe right here. And then you'll just buy this this um, this plugin. It's usually around 50 bucks, I think, to buy that. Once you purchase it, you'll get a license. And that license is going to be in your account. So I'm going to go over to my account. And I actually have quite a few different licenses for GiveWP because I brought the pro version. Um, so two things you'll need to do here is one, you need to get the plugin, download it so you can install it. And two, you need to get the license so that you can um, enter your license into your WordPress site to confirm that you actually own this. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to download GiveWP. And that's going to be in the download section here. We're not downloading GiveWP. We're downloading Stripe for GiveWP. Um, in any case, you can see that my, I have the Pro Pan, so I have a, access to a whole bunch of downloads. But we're going to find the Stripe one. I believe it's, there it is down here, Stripe Gateway. We're going to download this plugin. And I'm just going to install it on my desktop. 
and there that goes. Now once that's downloaded, you're going to want to grab your license because you um, can't activate the plugin without having your license confirmed. So then you're going to go over to licenses. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. Once on your license page, you'll see the Stripe Gateway license right here. And what you want to do is just click on that, maybe double click or triple click, and then copy that. You're going to have to keep that copied because we're going to be pasting that soon here in our WordPress site. OK, now that we've clicked back into our WordPress site, we're going to, have to do two things. We have to install the plugin and activate the license. Actually, vice versa, you have to activate your license and then install the plugin. Either way, to do that, you need to go over to Licenses, which is still in the Settings tab of the GiveWP plugin. And you can see right here it says Activate License. And this is where you paste in your license key. So I'm going to paste mine in here. I'm going to activate it. OK, great. So now we can add our plugin. Here's where you upload and activate any plugin or add-on that you're going to put in here. And this is what we're going to do is we're just going to select the file. We've already downloaded. So just go ahead and hit that, select the file, navigate, navigate to where you put the plugin, and go ahead and open that up. GiveWP will automatically upload that. And all you need to do now is activate this add-on. So now we have the premium Stripe add-on added to GiveWP. So now we can go ahead and connect this and not have to pay that 2% fee um, that is offered in the free version. So let's go back to Payment Gateways. And we're going to go ahead and click on Stripe. And now you can see there's two different ways to connect Stripe. One is the way we had originally seen in the free version, which is just right here. You connect with Stripe, which basically, if I do that, it's going to open up and it's going to ask me to um, pick my Stripe account and connect it, right? This is a simple way to do it. Um, I typically don't use that way because I have found that that can often disconnect somehow. Um, I think maybe it's a caching issue with websites at, at some point, but I've had this connection actually disconnect and my donation page was no longer taking payments because it was no longer connected to the gateway. Um, so I always like to add, just for a little extra assurance, I like to add the API keys directly, right? So this is basically connecting to your Stripe account and it finds your API keys and makes that connection. I like to do this manually. And so we've done both. So basically here, basically I showed you, if you want to connect this directly to your account, just click that and um, follow the prompts. But if not, we're going to do the API way as well. So we're going to click here. And you're going to see you now have four different APIs, the live publishable and secret and the test publishable and secret keys that we are going to add. Now to find these keys, you need to log into your Stripe account. So now we're going to go ahead and do that. OK, so here I am in um, a Stripe account. And we're going to go ahead and find our API key so that we can connect this. In order to do that, you want to go over to the left-hand side of Stripe, and you're going to go over to Developers and click on that. Once you're in Developers, you're going to have a drop-down menu here on the left that has the API keys that you will that you're wanting to grab. Go ahead and click on that. Now, your two API keys for the publishable. Publishable means it's live. The live taking of donations online are right here in front of you. You basically just want to click on these and click the copy for both of them. Now, be careful. That secret key, you only get one chance to copy it because once it's revealed, it will never be revealed again. So once you copy that, make sure you paste it somewhere in a very safe and secure place because you're not going to be able to access that key again. That's just a security measure they make. So go ahead and copy both of these. 
I like to just copy both, stick them into a text file, and then open up that text file and paste them back in. But either way, however you want to do that, copy, and then go back to GiveWP. I'm going to copy this one here. I'm going to go back to GiveWP. This is the publishable key. I'm going to go into my publishable key, and I'm going to paste it there. Cool. I'm going to do that for the rest of these, uh, but to avoid having to blur out every time I switch screens, um, I'm just going to skip ahead, and um, you'll see here that they're all ready to be published. Once you've added those two keys, you may want to add the test keys as well. That way you can test your page before it goes live. And that, in order to do that, you simply scroll down here and you say View Test Data. So we're going to click on that. And now you have your test publishable and secret keys. So go ahead and grab both of those and paste them where they belong. Great. So now we're back in our WordPress site connecting our Stripe accounts, and we have pasted all our keys into here, and we are just going to add this new account. Once it's connected, you should see a confirmation here. It's just going to say your default account, and you're connected through API keys. So now you're connected to Stripe. There's one last thing that you're going to need to do between Stripe and your GiveWP plugin, and that is your webhook. Webhooks, basically what a webhook does is when someone makes a donation and that gets processed by Stripe, Stripe is going to take the payment, confirm that it's been processed, and then it's going to tell your website this is confirmed. And that way your site knows that when a donation comes in, it gets sent, it gets processed, it can track the whole payment process. And that's done with what's called a webhook, which basically just makes the two connect, um, communicate between each other when a process is done. And in order to do that, you're going to want to take the webhook from GiveWP and add it to Stripe. So to get your webhook, you want to go over to General Settings. You have your in Stripe. We want to go over to the General Settings. You can see right here your Stripe webhook. You just want to go ahead and copy this webhook right here. Control C or right click copy. Once that's copied, let's go back to that Stripe account. Now back in the Stripe account, a couple of things you want to make sure. You want to make sure that you're not viewing your test data because you want this webhook to actually work when you're live. And you just want to go over to webhooks. Once you're in your webhooks area, you probably don't have any here. We have one already installed. But you're going to add an endpoint up here on the right-hand side. And in the endpoint URL, that is where you're going to paste the webhook you just copied from GiveWP. You may want to add a description just in case you have multiple hooks in here. Um, we'll just put give WP webhook. And then all the way down at the bottom, it's going to say, which events do you want selected? Now, there's a whole bunch of events, right? Uh, if someone updates at your account, you'll get notified. If uh, a charge fails, you'll get notified. If a customer gets updated, you'll get notified, etc. There's a whole bunch of them. And the easiest way to make sure you get what you want is to receive all events. Once you've done that, you can add the endpoint, and you're good to go. Now, if you plan on using your site in test mode for a few days to make sure everything's working, you're also want to going to want to go over here and click on View Test Mode. Go over to Webhooks. And again, add that endpoint. Same thing. So this way, when you're testing the forms, all the email interaction between Stripe and GiveWP will continue to happen. Your notifications, your receipts, and all that will happen. So we'll put Give WP webhook here. Whoops, I can't spell hook. And we're going to receive all events and we're going to add. So now we've added the webhook to our test data as well as our live data. All right, let's go back over to our WordPress site. 
Okay, so now we've connected Stripe with an API, we've added webhooks, we've installed the plugin, we have our license for GiveWP. We are almost there, folks. Your next step is to pick the gateway you're going to be using for your site. So to do that, in the settings area, under payments, is the gateway, the main page here. We're going to click on this. Once you're on your gateway page, you're going to scroll down. A couple things you want to be aware of. Um, right here is the test mode, right? And we're going to keep this enabled for now. Test mode is different than test donation. Test donation is just a basic pretend donation that GiveWP does. But we're actually going to test our Stripe gateway. And so what we want to do is go down to the Stripe section here. You can see there's quite a few of them, but we are doing the Stripe credit card. We are going to enable that right here. We're going to make it our default. And in fact, I'm just going to get rid of the test donation um, one altogether so that we're only using Stripe credit card and that our test mode is enabled. All right. If you remember, we had two different API keys. We had our test publishable and our test secret and our live ones, right? So we are only going to use our test ones. And let's make sure we go down here and save our changes. All right. I think we're ready to test this page. So let's go back to our donation page. I'm going to go ahead and refresh this. Now it just refreshed. You're going to see we're still in test mode because we've 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 selected that. Um, so we can go ahead and do a pretend donation using our test Stripe API keys. So um, 50, whatever amount you want, would we'll do 50. Sure, this all pre-filled with my stuff. That makes it easier. Um, so fill in however you want. But you're going to go down. You're going to see your credit card information here, and the test credit card for Stripe is 42424242424242. The CVC can be anything, one, two, three. Cardholder name can be anything. And the expiration date just has to be in the future. And it looks like I have some billing information to fill in. We'll do that. And then we'll just go ahead and we're going to donate now. All right, and once your donation has been completed, you will be taken to the donation confirmation page, and you are now set up with Stripe. You can continue to test the form because there's more things you may want to do. You want to may check that the emails are being sent correctly, um, and we'll go over that in another video on how to set up the automated emails for confirmation that a uh, donation was made, as well as a donation receipt being sent to the donor. That'll be in the next video. But folks, if you're ready to go live with this, you just want to go back to your GiveWP um, settings in the back and simply disable the test mode. Make sure you save it. And your donation page, let's just confirm that, should be live and ready. There you go, folks. You've created a donation page that connects to Stripe, and you now take online payments. Congrats. Good job, folks. In an upcoming video, I'm going to show you how to customize all those emails that get sent out to your donors and to your admins so that you can brand it and say exactly what you want in your thank you emails to everyone who donates. Hey, if you like this video, be sure you give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to the channel. And if you want to be notified of any new videos, hit that notification little bell down there so that you can be notified of any new videos that we release. Appreciate you watching, folks. I hope this was helpful. And um, if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments. And hope you have a great day.